Now, are you ready? Hey everyone, what's up? This is Lily Flanagan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a couple different things. Of course, always giving you a bathroom update. I really feel like it's starting to come along and I'm getting so excited for the finished product, although it feels like we're moving slowly, but it's okay. That's part of doing it yourself. I'm also gonna be pulling up my cucumbers in the garden. It's just starting to get closer to fall and things are starting to kind of wither and not do as well. So my cucumbers are definitely one of those things. They're trying to really not do well. So I'm gonna be pulling those up and I'm gonna plant a sweet potato. This sweet potato, um, I've had it on my windowsill like above my sink for a long time and it has grown like so many leaves and roots. It's like really kind of getting out of hand. It's like definitely something that I would do. <laughs> Just leave it sitting up there. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna plant that sweet potato on the ground. I think I'm planting it like really late, but I'm hoping that I've, since I've given it such a good hard head start, it's already got like a lot of roots and a lot of leaves, um, that it might be able to at least make a few sweet potatoes before the end of the season. I uh, this was just like a sweet potato that started to rot on one side, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna eat it, but. I just cut the rotted part off, put that in the compost, and then stuck the potato in water. And here we are, we're gonna see if that works. It was gonna be food waste, and I would be super happy if I can turn it into food instead. Hello from future me editing this video. Um, I just wanna come on here and say there are a ton of tips sprinkled throughout this video. Make sure you're watching all the way through if you're interested in a bunch of gardening tips. I will put timestamps down in the description below this that, so that you can click to different parts um, that you might be interested in. And a big part of this is transitioning from a summer to fall garden. And I'm using succession planting here, which I'll talk about later in the video. So if you're interested in those topics, make sure to check them out down in the description bar below. Or if you just want a bunch of different gardening tips, watch all the way through. Um, and subscribe because next week's video is going to be one that a lot of people have asked about is how to start a container garden for the fall. So enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the bathroom updates. Um, we put in all of the Dura Rock flooring um, down on the ground. So the first step for this is to clean everything totally out, vacuum up all the dust from all the work you've been doing and make sure we have all the subfloor removed. We just have a little bit left we had to get out. And then we measure the piece, cut it, put it in. And then after you put those in, you're gonna wanna screw it down into the subfloor that you see Evan doing there. And we kept repeating this for all of the pieces for the bathroom floor and the shower floor as well as the shower walls. So all of that stuff that's gonna be tiled needs to have Dura Rock behind it. This one, we found a paint can did a really nice job of measuring the same size as the toilet flange for measuring that. Here's some pieces that are going up in the shower walls here that we're gonna tile around our shelf. I really felt like this started to accentuate the shelf and really made it look really nice. And then here are these two sides. I just have holes in them for the shower head and the shower faucet. And then the last piece that comes in is down here on the shower floor and then a few pieces in for the shower shelf as well. That bottom piece of the shelf, you wanna make sure it's slanted out so that where water will run out of there and it won't sit in there and collect. So yeah, we got all that flooring in, it looked awesome. And then we moved on to mudding the sheetrock. Um, just a little trick for this is you want to kind of get the consistency of the mud to like a peanut butter consistency. And you do that using the knife, kind of rub it on the wall, get it to that peanut butter consistency and then smooth it out with the larger knife um, to give it that like nice smooth finish look. You have to do this a couple different times over and over again until it's done. And I will show you the final result in this next clip. All right, so some of the exciting updates in the bathroom. We finally have some walls. <laughs> this is very exciting. So um, obviously this piece is new and that piece is new. That used to be behind the vanity. Um, and we're working on, we just done the first layer of mud um, around here. So obviously that still needs to be sanded and we'll probably have to do it a couple times, but we have it up here on the half wall as well. And that's all mudded. And then we also put in all of this Dura Rock board on the floor. So everywhere we're gonna tile, which will be like the whole bathroom, um, has this Dura Rock board. So this is nice because there aren't any like holes anymore that we're like stuffing with old rags and stuff. So this is nice because we have floor everywhere. And then we also have that put up in the shower, which is cool because it's like really starting to like come together. And I love our shelf. I think it's gonna look so good when it's done. Let me pull out my sweet potato for you guys so you guys can see it. This is my sweet potato. As you can probably see like in here, all these roots have grown out of the potato 
It's actually like cracked the cup and has grown like this whole branch is coming like out of the cup. So I think I'm gonna like cut the cup um, so I don't like break any of these branches, but it's just kind of like really amazing how big this got like just in water. But yeah, so instructions for this, literally stick a potato in a cup of water and boom, you have a sweet potato plant. I actually think the leaves of this are really pretty. Um, they have just like a nice kind of heart shape that every day I can see it get a little bigger. And it's just a cool like, experiment to do even if like at home with kids, this is definitely something you could, like you don't actually have to end up planting it if you don't have a spot for it, but it can just be a cool thing to kind of show them how how these grow. So yeah, potatoes are root plants. Um, so that's why they do this. All right, so I'm gonna go get what I need. Um, I need scissors to cut the cup open and I need gloves because I'm gonna be like pulling out that cucumber. All right, found the scissors in the office. Gloves should be out on my garden area in the garage. Ooh, let me sh show you guys this real quick. This is my basket where I keep all my veggies. And I have just had so much okra. And then I have in the back cherry tomatoes. Um, I've gotten, this one's pretty big. I've gotten way more cherry tomatoes than I've gotten like full size tomatoes. I'm not really sure why that is. I will say I have not been great about pruning tomatoes, like how you're supposed to pick off the suckers and stuff. I'm gonna try and be better about that next year. Um, but you know, can't do everything at one time. All right, got the gloves, got the scissors. Let's head out there. You can see right here, these cucumbers are really starting to wilt. And I'm not getting a lot of cucumbers anymore. You can tell on here, they're not doing well. Um, but the okra is doing great. And my tomatoes are huge. Ooh, I think there should be a tomato that's ripe. I can pick it with you guys. Yeah, right there. Looks good. Let's see. Yeah. Yum. So excited. Um, I got my watermelon vines doing pretty good. I got one baby watermelon right there. I have a couple cantaloupes in here that are doing pretty good. Some of them are, you know, some of the leaves are starting to get a little yellow, starting to get a little um, powdery mildew on them. But I mean, it's just getting towards the end of the season. This kind of thing's gonna happen. Let me see if I can show you this cantaloupe down in there. So yeah, I've got a couple good melons growing. Um, this watermelon right here has a bad case of blossom end rot. That's when like this end of the, you know, the opposite end of the stem where the blossom used to be starts to rot. And that is from inconsistent watering. We'd be getting kind of random rain, I would say. So that's the way that it is. Some of my baby plants that I plant are popping up like this pumpkin right here is doing pretty good. Over here, I have some acorn squash that's doing, like this one right here is doing pretty good. And then I planted some beets and carrots into the ground, but so far that's being pretty slow to pop up. So we'll have to see how that, if that makes it. My flowers are kind of on their way out. There's still some pretty ones. We've got a bee right there. We definitely are still helping our, out our pollinators. So with okra, you want to pick them when they're about like this big, I would say. When they get bigger than that, they get really like that slimy kind of taste that I don't like with okra. I don't think a lot of people do. Hi, Nala. This is all just from that side. Those, those three plants. A few plants on that side. Some of them are getting a little wonky, like that one. I gotta tell you what, I don't usually have gloves because I just come out here like literally in my pajamas in the morning and do this but it is nice to have gloves on because okra are a little prickly like this one i like this one get too big but i'll still eat it today we got this one big tomato don't got to worry about this cracking that's just a, like if you get a lot of rain they'll crack from so much water and all of this okra i'm gonna go post this on my instagram stories if you're not following me make sure to go follow me on um, instagram the link is down in the description um that's where i post every every day what I'm picking in the morning. So it's a cool way that you can stay connected to what's going on in the garden. This is part of the problem I'm having with my cucumbers is I have a little infestation of these bugs. They're babies, which you can maybe see like over here, have a red body. There's some more over there. So I'm gonna pick these, I'm gonna carry them over to the, there's a lot down there too. I'm gonna carry this over to the chickens and maybe they'll like to eat them. We'll have to see. Oh, uh, I'm looking at one. They have a bright red coloring. I wonder if that's like a protection. So birds will be afraid to eat them. Luann's getting the, out the cucumber there. Yeah, Roxanne just watched one like walk off here and 
Well, I'm interested. But you see how much bigger they've gotten. I just was looking back at the old video of when we first got them and I'll link that like, you know, right up here. It was crazy. They're so much bigger now. Like I it didn't realize, of course. I'm like, yeah, Luann's tail is all white now. Like, it used to have that purple antibiotic spray on it and stuff. Now it's all good and healthy. All right, so here I am just pulling out these old cucumber plants. And this is a basic principle of succession planting, which when I first was reading about this, it sounded super complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. All it means is you don't have to pull everything out at one time. Just pull out the things that aren't starting to do well and replace them with something that will do well. So right now you can pull out some summer crops that aren't doing well and start to replace some with fall crops. You don't have to do it all at one time. Actually, this makes it a lot easier to, to do, to manage, and it's gonna increase your yield. So everything that I showed you in the previous clips that's still doing well, the okra, the melons, some of the flowers, the tomatoes, I'm just gonna leave those until they stop producing and then I'll pull them out. You helping mommy in the garden, Nala? You're doing a good job. All right, so I just grabbed all of these off there. There were five more. I don't know that I'll keep any of these. I'll probably give these to the chickens as well. <laughs> one big pile right there and another one over there by Nala. Let's show me your tricks, Nala. Yeah. Sit, sit, pick, pull. Sit pretty, sit pretty, sit pretty. Be careful. Not big on that today, it's fine. All right, so I got this area pretty much cleaned out how I want it. I'm gonna add in my sweet potato now. I think I'm actually gonna add it in over on that back corner there, like over here, because it'll get some shade which it's really hot right now, so I think that would be good for that, actually. All right, so I'm in this little corner of this bed. Uh, so I'm gonna plant my basil, I mean my sweet potato, right here. First, I'm gonna cut this cup off. All right, and it's out. It's kind of crazy how these roots have formed. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, try and loosen them up a little bit. They look super healthy nice and white color which is what you want to see in your roots and yeah so that all looks good this underside is where i cut off that rotten end that's what's going to be going into the ground so i'm not too too worried about it being rotten there we go i have all my roots loosened up and i'm going to plant this in i'm just gonna dig a hole big enough but so i'm not gonna till anything up because i want to leave my good microbiome in my soil growing that's like your good helpful bacteria that help bring oxygen to your root system and those are really important so I'm just making a hole big enough for my potato to sit in here and I think that ought to do so I kind of fold it where I want it and then fill in here a few of the leaves got buried not too many. I think it'll, it'll figure it out. Put a little bit on top there and that should be good to go. I have it on a mist right now. It's gonna mist the leaves. And then I'll change it over to shower and shower right down on the dirt. All right, that should be pretty good. And I will, of course, keep you guys updated on how that potato does. All right, so I just wrapped up outside my phone. Um, said it was too hot to use. So that gives you an idea of how warm it is outside right now. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see those updates later. If you've enjoyed this video, um, please share it with someone else who you think will enjoy. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below of what you're excited for in your fall garden. And I will see you guys back here next week. Bye. <gasps> so graceful. Um, cut the cut. Cut the cut. Hmm, this is probably not the best angle for this. You sit up.